Hi friends, today we are going to see a PowerShell command called get event log. So first we can go to the PowerShell to see the help content of the get event log PowerShell command. So I know I am going to the help menu of the get event log PowerShell command. So if you see here these are some help contents which is given for the get event log PowerShell command inside the PowerShell itself. So if you see there are more tags which was given here so it can also be called as the parameters here and the description was also given here and the get event log PowerShell command was used for getting the event logs which can be displayed in the PowerShell itself and you can get the event logs from the local computer and also from the remote computer. So if we want a detailed description about this PowerShell command get event log you can go to the online help and you can have a detailed look or you can also have a detailed look here itself by executing some of these commands here and I'm just going to the online help as you see here the description has been opened and the syntax has been given and these are the parameters here let's go to some examples yeah so let's say execute some examples here. so I'm just going to execute some examples for the command get event log Actually, this must be the okay, so just copy this and paste it. Yeah. Actually, this viewers must come in the front and the source must be different. They should not give application here, they should give a log name here. But we see here when you execute this command, it has shown the newest five logs from the log application. So we see a Microsoft Skype app which was recorded on 21st December 1225. So let's check it out whether it has shown or not. The same five commands. from application yeah, if you see here Microsoft Skype 3.0 Microsoft Skype so you can just check it out like this and it will be really helpful for you to write the script so that you can easily manage the logs and filter the logs let's say execute some other examples like this one. yeah if you see here you you can just mention the instant ID of the log system you can just like just open a log then only you can get and test me Or system I'm just going to open it. Yeah, here there is no instant ID given here let's
Yeah, let's try this in a different way. We'll just execute this one and check whether it was running or not. If you see here, there is no instance ID created here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use the event ID. I'll just use the source here. It's kernel channel. Stick it out. We're showing that there is no match found. So let's try something different. So let me just execute this command. Um, if you see here, there is no thing like that. See here you can get all this with the map. Just cancel the execution. And if you see this command, it will go into the log application and there it will check the message and it will display the contents with the word failed. If you see here the prefix and suffix may be anything and if you have failed keyword here it will just display all the logs which was inside the log name application so this is how you will filter the logs with the help of the get event log partial command and let's check out some other examples and you can also So you can also filter like this and there are more and more way here to do so and I will just use the pipeline command to format it. See you can also format it according to your needs. So it will just display like this so there are more and more things can be done here and my future video I will just give a detailed view about this command so since it has more and more important command here this is the important command here because whenever you are going to computer management you are going to filter the 
logs it would be difficult for you to somewhat filter all the logs and uh, to get a view detailed view about it but if you use a powershell command you can just easily filter all those logs and you just only need to run the script only once or you can also schedule it to run the script according to your needs so that it will also be emailed to you in a easy way so i will just uh, give you a detailed view about this get event log command in my future video so that it will be helpful for you to run all the scripts. I think it might be useful for you and thank you for watching the video.